So in order to fix this dryer, we have to remove this back panel. Okay, you're gonna remove the screws. You're gonna need a, a screwdriver and you're gonna need one of these little pieces here. Actually, this size to be exact, if you have the Magic Chef. This size one here, it's a little small one compared to this one. And then, once you get the panel off, it's six screws. I strip one and then the other one on the bottom here. It fell inside the um, dryer, like in this part here. I don't know where it's at. But anyway, you remove these six screws. You remove these three on the bottom. You're going to have to loosen these, take these two off. And you're going to have to take these two off. Uh, where's my finger at? Work with me. These two. Now, just an FYI, be careful when you remove this drum because this whole thing moves. The whole drum will shift on you. So make sure you got a hand on it when you go to removing all of these screws and separate them so you'll know um, which ones are which. And this pulley is pretty tight, as you can see. So I removed all of the three here, all of the bottom three, and then the two at the top right here in the middle, and then the lower two on the bottom in the middle. And then I shifted the drum over, and then I put it on this little pulley back here, as you can see. And then when I shifted the drum, I pulled it over this wheel, and then I had to, like, um... It's going to be pretty tight because this is uh, a nice little stretch here. So you're going to have to tug it a little bit, not too much, in order to get these screws in. Another thing is when you're putting these screws in, I would recommend you loosen, put some, at least one on the top, but loosen it and then put one on the bottom. Because it's once you secure the top of the screws, it's hard to get the bottom on. And once you secure the bottom, it's hard to get the top on. So put the, like at least two screws in and kind of screw them in lightly. And then put the bottom ones in or the top, whichever preference works best for you. But don't tighten them because you will not be able to get the screws back in easily. So you kind of got to like shift this little bar and adjust it to get all six of the screws back in top and bottom. And then you put the two in in the middle and put the lower two in. You want to test the dryer out. Of course, unplug the dryer when you're doing this. Plug it up to make sure everything works. Mine's work. And thank you for the replacement part.